Bienvenidos and welcome to another episode of Spain on a Fork. Today we're making a classic Spanish dish that truly represents what comfort food is all about. We're talking garlic potatoes with fried eggs. This is known as patatas al ajillo con huevos fritos. Let me tell you, this dish is packed with an insane amount of flavors, made with just a handful of ingredients. And the best part, it's all done in a little over 30 minutes. Folks serve this for breakfast, or even for dinner like they do in Spain, and always next to a crunchy baguette and a couple cold beers for the ultimate Spanish experience. This video is sponsored by Tienda.com. La Tienda is an online superstore focusing on selling all things Spain for your home and kitchen, and they've been around since 1996. And like I always tell you, they have the biggest selection of artisan Spanish ingredients, like queso manchego, the famous jamón serrano and jamón ibérico, marcona almonds, olives, the beautiful canned seafood from Spain, and all the spices you need to make all your favorite Spanish recipes, among so many other great ingredients. And let me tell you, when it comes to cookware, they have an amazing selection of authentic Spanish paella pans that range in size from two servings all the way up to 50 servings. And they even offer classic grilling systems that way you can always perfectly cook your paella. Folks, visit tienda.com. Let them know Albert from Spain on a Fork sent you there. And make sure you use coupon code on a fork during checkout for 10% off your order. Let's begin by cutting one kilogram of potatoes, which is two and a quarter pounds, that have already been peeled, washed, and padded dry. Each went to small bite-sized pieces that are two centimeters thick, which is about three quarters of an inch. I'm using Yukon Gold potatoes here, but you can use whatever potatoes you like. Then we'll separate the cloves from one head of garlic and cut a slit on each clove, making sure to leave the skins intact. And let me tell you, you want to leave the skins on the garlic. It's still going to give the potatoes that beautiful garlic flavor, but it's going to ensure that they don't brown, which will give them a bitter flavor. For the next step, let's start cooking our dish. I'm going to heat a large fry pan with a medium heat and add in half a cup of extra virgin olive oil, which is 120 milliliters. Important to use a great olive oil here, as this what truly flavors all the ingredients. Link where you can get the Spanish one I'm using in the description box below. After a couple minutes, we'll add in the chopped potatoes and the cloves of garlic. And we'll mix the ingredients around. That way they're all coated in the olive oil. And you don't have to mix this around continuously, but do get into every three to four minutes. That way everything evenly cooks. In the meantime, let's get the rest of the elements ready to put this dish together. Let's begin by making a very simple garlic and parsley sauce that takes this to the next level. I'm going to add in two cloves of garlic that I roughly chopped into a mortar, along with two tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley, which is eight grams, and a pinch of sea salt. And using a pestle, we'll pound down on the ingredients until we form a paste-like texture. If you don't have a mortar and pestle, you can also use a food processor, neutral bullet, or even a handheld blender. Once we end up with a paste-like texture, we'll add in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 30 milliliters, and give it a mix until it's well mixed together. And we'll also grab a couple eggs, and crack each one into individual bowls. As you know, before I add eggs into a fry pan, I always like to take this step as it ensures that no eggshells go in there and that the yolks are not broken. Okay, let's move back to the potatoes. They've been cooking between 20 to 25 minutes, and as you can see, they are beautifully golden fried. You know, you can always pierce them with a toothpick just to ensure that they're fully cooked through. For the next step, I'm gonna remove the potatoes and the cloves of garlic and transfer them to a bowl with paper towels. Once we have all the potatoes and garlic in the bowl, we'll remove the paper towels. We just added them in there so they can absorb any of the excess oil. Then we'll add in two tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley, which once again is eight grams, and season everything with sea salt. And we'll toss it together, that way the sea salt and parsley are evenly coating the potatoes and garlic. And then we'll transfer everything into a serving dish. For the final step, let's start cooking our eggs. Using the same pan with the same heat, once again a medium heat, we're going to fry them up. 
And I'm going to cook them the Spanish way, which is a light crispy texture underneath with a beautiful creamy yolk. The secret is let the eggs sit there for about one minute without moving them around. Then splash some of the hot oil over the eggs. And you just want to do this for a few seconds, otherwise you can easily overcook the yolk. And then remove the eggs from the pan. Then we'll add the eggs over the garlic potatoes and season them with a kiss of sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And you know what? I'm gonna add in one more fried egg in there as it's gonna give this dish a beautiful presentation. And for the final touch, we'll top it off with our garlic and parsley sauce. And check it out folks, patatas al ajillo con huevos fritos. Garlic potatoes with fried eggs, beautiful presentation, the simplest ingredients, and all done in a little over 30 minutes. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. Once again folks, patatas al ajillo, this is comfort food at its best. Here we go. It is absolutely delicious. There is so much garlic flavor in there that is out of control delicious. And all the ingredients beautifully cooked. Once again, folks, give it a try at home, either for breakfast or dinner, and always next to a crunchy baguette and a couple Spanish beers for the ultimate Spanish treat. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Alan M. Hirschman, Nancy T., Jean, and Maybeth Robles. And guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button as it really helps out the channel. Leave me a comment below. And as always, don't forget to share this video with your family and friends. That way our Spain on a Fork community can continue to grow. Till the next time, hasta luego.